my name is Stan Scrollo and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk all things trading, finances and money in general. And if you're new to the channel and you know what to do, that is number one, like the video please and subscribe. So in this, as you could probably say that it's vlog number 13 of us moving to Dubai. So I really hope that you enjoyed vlog number 12 where I explained how to uh, purchase a car, an exotic car in a uh, smart way and hope that you enjoyed the vlog about us buying the Rolls Royce Phantom as well. And uh, so today I wanted to film some final touch ups in the office and uh, quite a few interesting things. Uh, might not be, you know, suitable for everybody, but uh, that's me, that's Thomas Brawlow, I'm a bit of a crazy guy. So let's take a look at all the things that I got for the office. So as you might remember, this is exactly what the entrance to the office looks like. There are actually a few new things here, which we're gonna take a look at in just a second. And here is what the office looks like right now so it's actually really really nice it turned out to be really cool so what's new so the world clock there it is so basically dubai frankfurt moscow and new york it was supposed to be in a different order but we fucked it up of course it was supposed to be dubai uh, moscow frankfurt new york but uh, we just we were doing it at like one o'clock in the morning so we just mixed them up a bit so well nothing you can really do about it to be honest this is something we did ourselves because i was trying to find where to buy this kind of a clock and unfortunately there was no place where i could find it like the trader's real clock so we had to do it ourselves so we spent like i think like 200 dollars on all the clocks plus all the small uh, plates with the names of the cities then we have a painting what the fuck ever it is it's like it's like 100 bucks uh, then on the safe here you will see a vase um, designed by sophia with i don't know to be honest what that even is but uh, it looks okay then also we have some kind of a statue i don't know what it is looks like sophia a little bit but uh, just was you know nice looks nice on the table and finally this wall right here i did not know what to do with this wall so let me know in the comments what do you think i should uh, put on the wall maybe a painting of warren buffett and then me to the right like this but uh, I think that the best thing was to put a television onto it. So a really nice big TV. So what I did was I went to the local TV shop and I bought myself a 65 inch television, which is gonna go right onto that wall. So as I'm sitting in my chair, I'll be able to see a really huge television right on the wall. I think that's gonna be epic. I can watch my own YouTube videos, some other YouTube videos. I can do some work because it's gonna be connecting to my MacBook. So I'll have a separate keyboard and a mouse so I can use it as a huge, huge screen. It's gonna be quite nice. And I bought it already for like, less than a thousand dollars, brand new of course. The guy's coming to install that tomorrow, something we'll do in this vlog as well. And uh, now I have my Binance account. So this is uh, cryptocurrency and I'm currently, if you're following me on Instagram, then you know that I've sold off all of my crypto. Most of them, you know, some of the maybe I could have kept, but I just decided to exit crypto market completely. So I sold all 15 crypto coins that I had with a 20X. I've multiplied my initial investment by 20. So it's ridiculous. So I'm currently waiting for interesting uh, opportunities. Uh, I'm also looking at Dogecoin, which is, I did some research on it and actually it might have something interesting to it, but I'm still looking into it. So we'll see what happens. And I'm also looking at Bitcoin, uh, one uh, bit of a drop here. And also at VeChain, BitTorrent, some consolidation, we'll see what happens next. Then some uh, BNB, of course. Uh, Damn it, focus. Then some uh, Cardano, which is, you know, climbing pretty much, but I, I left it somewhere here. So, well, I missed this, but fine. Then uh, some XLM as well, and a bunch of other coins. Then we have futures, 
stocks, some of the stocks I used to look at and some of them I still pay attention to just to see if I can find anything interesting. Then uh, the main trading screen, which is, you know, for active trading, if I find anything interesting in any of the markets, then I'll just put in the ticker and that huge 32 inch screen will be for uh, my active trading. So I'll have the order book in there. There's gonna be the daily chart, hourly chart, as well as the five minute chart for just the trade execution, that's it. So pretty much, you know, I'm watching crypto, different stocks, different indices, which is SPY for general direction of the United States stock market, which is the same as S&P 500, but just some use SPY. And uh, also I'm looking at mini gold, just to keep an eye out and know what's going on with the gold. And also uh, DAX, my favorite DAX, which is DAX 30. Uh, so DAX is basically Frankfurt. That's the reason why I have a Frankfurt clock on the wall because it's DAX and DAX is Eurex and Eurex is in Frankfurt. And now let's take a look at the goodies that I got from the Casa de la Habana, and that's this um, cigar place. And uh, you know, as you know, I've quit smoking. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I still smoke shisha here and there, and uh, I still smoke cigars. I tried some cigars before, but my dear friend Alessandro, if you're watching, hello Alessandro. He actually showed me the world of cigars, and I do like cigars, I have to admit, and I do like all the kinds of accessories. I was thinking that for the office, it would be really nice to have some, you know, cigar box, cigar accessories, so that sometimes in the evening after a nice trading day. Just in general, a nice work day, I could actually relax and have a cigar right here in the office. So let's start with this one. And this one, of course, yeah, these are gonna be the cigars. I think that this is an ashtray. This is a uh, Monte Cristo Habana Cuba. Uh, cutter. We'll take a look at that. Some uh, liquid for the cigar box. Some humidifier for the cigar box again. Gas for the lighter. Then I think that this is uh, the special cigar lighter. And this is gonna be the... Uh, this is gonna be the cigar box. And I got myself Edition Limitada and it's fucking beautiful, in my opinion. And really expensive. There is a receipt, and we'll see how much I paid for everything. And finally, I got myself this Kyohia, oh, how the fuck ever you pronounce this thing. What this is, is actually air treatment, so it's for smokers, and uh, so basically if you're smoking in a room, you have this bloody thing that clears the air for you and you don't even need to open the window. This is amazing. This thing has incredible filters. And it's got like two of them, uh, so one on each side. And now, so I had to take them apart. And this thing goes in here like that. Then there is uh, this bloody thing. Goes in like that. This piece. And we're ready to rock and roll. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Feels so good. Oh, yeah, maybe. Stop fucking around, Thomas. So now, you can turn it on. The lady said, so when it says blue or green, it means that it's there's no smoke in the air, no dirt. So when it's gonna be red, if I smoke a cigar, then it means that it needs to clean the air. Now, let's take a look at the most fun stuff. And by the way, I can also connect it to uh, the phone and actually regulate it from sitting like one, one meter away. So let's start with, let's say the lighter. Lotus, nothing really spectacular. So just a regular cigar lighter, which has that, you know, very direct flame so that it doesn't get blown out uh, in the wind. Then Monte Cristo uh, cutter. It's got some instruction here, I don't know what it means. And here it is. Gold. Really nice. Next one I think is gonna be a Cohiba ashtray. And if you don't know Cohiba, it's one of those more spectacular brands of Cuba. This is gonna be the ashtray. Real nice looking one. Finally, let's do the most oh, prized possession. So that is the cigar box. 
you actually have like a cloth, real nice cloth. Yeah, fuck. Who does it like that? Okay, never mind. So there it is. Some gold accent, white and black, and of course it's wood, so it's like a, it's a piece of art. You know, to be honest, for me, this is a beautiful damn cigar box. You open it up. It's got that uh, uh, hydrometer meter, so it's gonna be measuring the how humid it's inside. So then inside of it, you have some foam and then some more foam and then you have this wooden thingy that from what I understand it's supposed to go in somewhere in the middle and then you have to shift it yeah well it's not exactly even <sighs> okay all right so yeah there you go so you have two segments for whatever reason and once again limited edition inside you actually have in the paper one you have this thingy so it's a golden uh, so this is a golden thing which is used for hydrating the box from the inside so that it's always hydrated so the cigars are always kept in proper temperature as well as the proper humidity so it's always humid how this works let's do this together so i have to take this liquid which is anti-fungal ready to use climate sensitive regulates humidity to a perfect 70 percent so 70 percent and with if you don't know the less humid it is the drier the cigars become the harder they are and the more humidity the more like a sponge they become softer and more like a sponge so anywhere from 65 to 85 humidity i think was optimal so up to 80, 60 to 80 that's what it says here but optimal is 70 so right in the middle and what we do is we add a little bit of this solution right to this um thing here they told me not to do too much so that it's not too wet so that you know the liquid doesn't drop out of it basically that's it so there are these two things so this one is so whenever i go to travel this will keep it humid inside the box for three months this is something you need to refill every like 10 days especially if you smoke cigars every day so this is something that will keep it humid for three weeks so whenever i travel i just rip this apart throw it in there in one of the segments of the box and the cigars will be al dente perfection for about three months so that's very nice really nice cohiba and I just love it. You know, it just opens and closes. It's so nice. So let's finally take a look at the cigars that I got. So this might be interesting for those of you who are into cigars. So I got myself some Romeo and Juliet uh, White Churchills. I really like the White Churchills because they, uh, for just because I'm a big guy. And the white Churchills are just perfection, in my opinion, for somebody who is uh, white. <laughs> so that's what they look like. From inside, you can see, you know, a bit dry, but real nice size, real nice cigar in general. So, I mean, these are the cigars that I got. They are not like anything like limited edition or anything. These are just more sort of like everyday cigars. But again, a cigar on average is gonna be at least around $30, $40, sometimes $50. The lowest end could go down to maybe like $10, $15. So uh, let's take a look at this selection that I got. Real nice selection. I just took a little bit of everything. And once again, in the end of the video, we'll go over all the costs that are associated with this. Monte Cristo, Havana, Cuba whatever so it just looks like this they all smell the same to me so i got different ones so i could actually start exploring these a bit more to understand you know what the real the fucking difference is so then there is you know a strange looking one so that's the hoyo de monterey um, i guess i don't know the name of it but uh, again not an expert just enjoying life and trying all the new things so this one looks like like a big joint then there is ramon alones havana so something like this to give it a try. And the next one, Cohiba. So again, the Cohibas are a bit more on the expensive side. 
some people say they're one of the best in Cuba. And this is uh, Cohiba Maduro 5. Looks like this, like one of those smaller ones. So if you want a quick puff and you don't really want to spend too much time, you don't have too much time, then this is the way to go. Then we have another Hoy de Monterrey Epicure number two. And this one is a bit lighter. So for example, if you compare uh, this Cohiba Maduro 5 and this Hoyo de Monterrey Epicure number two, you will see the difference in colors of different leaves and different taste. And all the cigars really something that I'm trying to learn myself right now is the taste. So sometimes they are more bitter in the beginning, then they're sweeter in the middle, and then they are fucking coffee taste in the end. So it's like, you know, one of those being a gourmet guy and understanding so all of these things. So that's what I want to learn. Then a nice Cohiba, probably the most expensive cigar I bought today. It was about maybe like $50, I don't know, $40. Got myself Romeo and Giulietta, also quite a standard cigar, but really nice one. It smells just like any other cigar. And then another uh, shorty, and this is the Trinidad. Trinidad is also very nice. Trinidad, the fun, fun fact, the Trinidad cigars were first made only for Fidel Castro. I hope that you know who Fidel Castro is. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So I got myself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 cigars in total. So, and now the most fun part is of course, putting them all neatly inside the box. And by the way, it's on the magnet and that's what it looks like. That humidifier thing and now I can put all the cigars right into the box ah, they are so beautiful look at this so nice I don't know why I like them so much I mean it's it's more of a an experience than you know when you smoke cigarettes you inhale them and you know you feel a buzz or something with cigars it's just an experience that you cut a cigar you open a wooden nice box you enjoy looking at them and all the interesting ah, whatever I could speak about it for quite a while so without any further ado let's just select something and let's light up so let's go for this Cohiba Maduro 5 I'm not a professional cutter, but yeah, a bit too much. You're supposed to cut off just the cap. Once again, I'm not an expert, but uh, you're supposed to heat it up so that you don't burn it. But fuck, I mean, come on, you're burning it to smoke it, right? So why can't you burn it when you are uh, trying to light it? By the way, I'm really hoping that you're enjoying this vlog. If you are, please like the video. So yeah, if you're looking for uh, to get into trading and uh, you want to learn all the proper ways of trading, which can take you actually further than some rubbish like Forex, then uh, link to one of my link to one of my trading webinars is in the description as always, as well as the website damscrawlo.com, you know, which is the best trading learning program in the world. It saves you years of time as well as potentially thousands of dollars that you might otherwise lose in the markets if you have no fucking idea what you're doing. So consider going and becoming one of my students. And uh, let me pretend that I understand what I'm talking about when it comes to cigars. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to trading, but cigars, I like them. Would I say that this is something that I understand very much? Not yet, but uh, again, this is what life is all about. I'm trying to learn new things. I'm trying to try new things. And uh, yeah, quite not bad. So let's take a look at exactly how much money I've spent on all of this good stuff today. So you get an idea of what you're looking to spend if you want to get any of these accessories. So. Let's begin. So the cigar cutter, which was the one that uh, this Monte Cristo thing, it was 500 dirhams, so $130. Then the three Churchills, $100. Then the next thing was uh, Coiba Ashtray. That was this one here, whatever. Oh, here it is, damn it. So this was about $35, which is reasonable. The box, they wanted initially $1,000, so precisely $1,000. And they gave me a discount, so I paid about $800 for this limited edition box. So that's that. The air cleaner, which we looked at in the very beginning, that was about, uh, let's say $700, $600 something dollars. Everything else were just cigars. 
So cigars in total were about $400. So today in total, I spent 7,800 dirhams. That's about $2,000. So was it worth it? I don't know, I don't really care. I just wanna try new things. I just wanna try and have a cigar box, a cigar cutter, lighter, etc. so why not? Yeah, so now the only thing that we really have to do in the office is add the television, which is gonna be like 65 fucking inches. It's gonna be just epic. So, and uh, let's, let me enjoy this Cohiba and let's get that TV fixed right onto this wall. All right, so it's been a day and we are going to put the television on the wall. You need some help? Uh, not now. No, no, no. All right. Nice. The view is nicer though. All right. There it is. Nice size, buddy. Real nice size. Hold there. And then it starts to roll. Real nice. Real nice. I'm enjoying this. I think I'm gonna listen. By the way, subscribe. That's right. This guy is saying the right thing. So please subscribe. That's real nice. I mean, that turned out to be a real nice office. Trading station, the world clock, some cigar lounge, and look at this. I mean, this looks real, real cool. The mini, mini tour, cigar lounge. By the way, if you haven't watched all my previous vlogs, I recommend doing so, like right now. And uh, yeah, so that's basically about my office. And look, so now it looks like this. And as always, one of the best things is the view, because the view is just simply spectacular. And yeah, so, if you're new to the channel, as I said before in my own vlog right there, please subscribe, please like the video. And as always, all the links to all the best trading education in the world is down in the description. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.